Hi guys, back here with another video. So, um, yeah, toys. That's what I got. Um, then I've got a few videos going to be coming out that aren't going to be just haul videos. I've been saying that for a while, but I'm finally uh, making some room to be able to get to them. And yeah, so uh, there's probably going to be like, because I've already got one that's uploaded that you guys haven't seen yet. Then you'll have this one, and then you'll have probably one more after this. And then we'll finally be breaking into some of the non-haul videos. So, um, I don't know. Some people don't like the haul videos. Some people do. I like them. I like watching people find cool stuff. But I don't really like the hunt videos because I feel like sometimes it's kind of disappointing. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what I've got in this box. I found this box at like a thrift store. And I want to say I paid. Actually, I probably can tell you what I paid. Six bucks for this whole box. Which... Probably wasn't worth it, but we'll see. Um, so this is a motorcycle for um, the um, Gargoyles cartoon and figures. Um, the only thing I can tell about it, it, one of the handlebars is broken on it. So other than that, it seems like it's relatively complete from what I can tell. I don't see anything else it's supposed to have. Um, oh, it's supposed to have a missile under here, I bet. So there's supposed to be a missile under there. But it'll be okay. Uh, next up, there's this thing. I don't know what it goes to. Um, it says Marvel 1997. But I'm not sure what this goes to. I'm sure it goes to one of the X-Men figures, I would imagine. But I don't know. Spider-Man maybe? Since it's got webs? I don't know. I have no idea. I know a lot of the Toy Biz figures, but I've just never seen that little accessory before. And this is one of the Bat Cycles, because it's got a Batmobile on it, but it's missing basically all the parts. And there's a sled-looking thing that's got a Bat Cycle on it, so... I'm going to assume those are for Batman Forever, but I really don't know. Um, and I don't know if they're supposed to go together. I don't know anything about this, really. So if you, had, if you guys know anything about this or how it fits together, if it fits together, um, let me know. I'm assuming those are separate pieces, though. Um, and I got this thing. This is one of the Beetleborg communicators. And it says Green Hunter AV on the side of it. Um, yep. That's going to go in the box of Power Ranger stuff that I'm going to get rid of. Then we got the back half of the Gargoyles Night Stalker. Vehicle. I already got one of these in the box. So I'm not too concerned. It's just basically garbage. But the main reason I bought this was because it had three Power Rangers, which I don't like Power Rangers, but I have a big lot of Power Rangers I'm going to put on eBay. And this one actually had a lot of the accessories in there. So um, one of these days I will have a very big lot of Power Rangers that's going to be on eBay. So not that it was worth anything because who the hell wants to spend money on Power Rangers because they suck. Yeah, I said it. They suck. Suck, 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 suck. We're going to move this crap down here that I don't like. Or at least it's just parts anyway. You know what? We'll just move it all down here. And the last thing in the box. Um, I'll probably hang on to this just because it's cool. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find a replacement handlebar. But this is uh, a skull cycle or something like that for uh the skeleton warriors figures um that is one line that i don't think i have any figures for mainly because there's only one that i really want and the rest of them i don't care about but if i found them i would take them and that is the spider skeleton warrior arachna something or other but it's basically a skeleton with like six arms or something um anyway but yeah this motorcycle is pretty damn cool uh, it's missing a couple of things on it, but for the most part, I'm okay with it. You know, I wish it did have the other handlebar, though. But I'm thinking I can cut this off or pull this out, because I think it pulls out. And then resin cast this, because I think this is the exact same piece that goes on this side. So if I can resin cast that and get a second one, I think I'm going to do that. And same way with this horn down here. I think I can pull this piece off and resin cast that to fit over here. Because it's the exact same thing, except for that won't be bent the right way. 
That one probably won't work. This will work because I think it's the exact same thing on both sides. So um, at least maybe I can resin cast one of the pieces. And also maybe this piece right here. I don't know what that piece does. I think it maybe it's supposed to shoot this missile out of the mouth. But I love this skeleton, how when you turn his head, the mouth moves. So, I don't know. Kind of neat. Um, yeah. So let's go this way. Um, so I did get some instructions. This is the instruction booklet for the Nerf gun Megatron. So I got that a long time ago. So now I've got an instruction book for it. And... I picked up the Gremlins card game. Um, it kind of sucks because I thought it would be Gremlins like through the whole box. But you really only get these cards. So there's really only the two Gremlins. And then you play a game with it. But I was really hoping it was going to be more visual. Like have a bunch of Gremlins. So um, I'm actually going to give this to a friend. Maybe. I don't know. He actually helped me out. So yeah, I'm going to give it to him. I can't be too greedy all the time. Because he helped me find something really cool that you'll see in another video at some point in time. Um, I did get a big bag, and so we don't spill anything. I'll try to keep it over here to the side. Um, so in the big bag, not a big bag, but a Ziploc baggie. Uh, this is the Dino Riders Dimetron, Dimetrodon, Dimetrodon, whatever. Uh, I, no armor, unfortunately, so just the dinosaur. Then I picked up another foot soldier. And another foot soldier. Then I picked up, and I cannot remember her name, uh, but it's the only female chick in the Gargoyles line, and she had her wings. This is the main reason why I picked her up, because you don't see them very often with the wings. And then I bet you can't guess what I picked up next is another Ninja Turtle. This is the last one I needed for the um, uh, musical turtles or whatever. You know, there was the Leonardo with the guitar and Rock or uh, Raphael with the drumsticks and drums and stuff. So this is the rapping mic. Um, yeah. So he was the last one I needed. So now I just got to find parts for him. Then I picked up a another, if you can see, soft head shredder. And picked up another soft head splinter. And a uh, soft head Leonardo. Squishy. Squishy. It's kind of hard. Uh, but they are all soft heads. And then Raphael. Soft head. Then Donatello. Soft head. And most of them have their belts except for Michelangelo. Soft head. He's really soft head. Like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and these are going to be part of another video that I've got coming up soon um, that I'm excited for. So happy to have those. Uh, you can always use soft head turtles. I'm probably going to end up having a lot of uh, soft head turtles that are going to end up going on eBay soon just because, um, yeah, once I get a video done that I need them for, um, I'm going to keep a set and then I'm probably going to get rid of a set. I might even have two sets of these soft head turtles by now. Or at least pretty dang close. Um, then I got Fred. Is this Fred? Yeah, I think that's Fred from Scooby-Doo. And picked up the Doctor or whatever from um, Swamp Thing. Sorry, I don't know if that cut the sneeze off or not. <laughs> And I picked up uh, Princess Leia. She needs a bath. But I got a lot of these figures that need a bath. So uh, she'll be right in there with the bathtub. With the other figures. Uh, but I didn't have a Princess Leia. Leia. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm kind of losing my voice. So that's why I'm trying to get through this video pretty quick. So uh, I did pick up another mask figure. That guy. And I also decided to pick up this twin brother, which I don't think this is the one that goes to this vehicle, but this one had the mask on it. So I just went ahead and grabbed the two of them together. I don't know why. Uh, I am missing the windshield, so I don't know if I'll ever be able to find that or not. But this was one of the only, the only other uh, mask toy I had as a kid 
was the uh, Chevy Bel Air. Um, so I had this motorcycle helicopter thing, um, and I just really wanted it. Not the biggest mass collector, but I do have a few of them, so it'll go good with the rest of them. And then I picked up uh, this armadillo from Beast Wars. Uh, I never can remember his name. But he is missing. I believe he has a gun that he's supposed to have. Uh, but this one doesn't have it. Um, and he's transformed. Yay! Yay, that's it. Um, I don't know. I always liked this little guy, though. He was one of my favorites when I was a kid. I just always liked these smaller Beast Wars figures. And they were fast to transform. They were just a lot of fun. And they were cheap. And then I picked up... And he's kind of, if you listen, there's something inside him rattling around, but this is one of the animated Batmans. And he actually has a really flexible cape, so I think he'll fit really good in that Batmobile down there. So I can actually have a Batmobile, because right now I just have a animated Bruce Wayne in the cockpit. And then I found a Battle Beast, which I had I used to have a big collection of these guys, and I got rid of it, and his little thing does still work so it looks like fire or wood one of the two I can't remember um, but it's the beaver or chipmunk or something like that um, but yeah I used to have a whole bunch of those I don't know what happened to them actually I do I sold them I know exactly what happened to them I did sell and uh, then we've got splinters dress robe cape he's missing his belt but um, maybe I'll run across one soon, or not, I don't know, he may end up in the sold pile, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to sell my soft head turtles or not, and we'll get to that in another video, my next video, because I have some other doubles and ninja turtles that I'd ran across, anyway, um, next up, I got the, uh, roller that I needed for my G1 Prime, so happy to have that, and let's go ahead and grab this. So, I don't know if you remember a while back, but someone said I've been too close to these videos, so I'm trying to scoop everything back. But this Prime was missing his feet. So I was able to actually find, and I don't think these are the exact feet that go with it. I'm not sure. Um, but I was able to find these Prime feet, and they do actually fit on the balls. Because there's actually two of these, there's one of these that has these this style, and there's another one that has same collar, but they're hooks. Um, but either way, now this Prime finally has some feet, and he can stand and get rid of the other ugly Prime that's in, well, you can't really see it from here, but he's right there. And I don't like that Prime, mainly because it's really corroded. So, I'm happy that one's got some feet at least, he can stand, and doesn't look too bad. Then I got this, and this goes to a bumblebee um, that I got uh, a while back, or actually in the last probably video you guys seen where I had a bunch of Transformer stuff, um, but this goes to the Nitro Bumblebee. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Or Turbo Bumblebee? I think it was Turbo something Bumblebee, but it's some, one of the movie Bumblebees. If you watched my last video, it was in there. And then I got the belt. And I may already have this belt, but it's the belt for the pizza throwing Michelangelo figure. So. Then. I got a baseball bat. And this baseball bat actually goes to the um, Turtleville Slugger. Uh, actually goes to the baseball set of Ninja Turtles. It's the one that's Raphael's head and it's the little micro playset. And then I got a tiny little movie star Donatello. Or was this the Toon Turtle Donatello, I mean? Uh, but it goes to one of the little micro playsets. So, gotta be careful not to lose that little guy. And then I got just some other random figure weapons for Ninja Turtles. So, a lot of the brown pieces. Um... So, yeah, some extra parts and whatnot. And I'm going to put all these smaller guys away. Was that it? I think that's all the real small ones. Just so they don't get lost. Then, 
then next up, my buddy went to a Big Lots and found this guy. This is the uh, movie Bebop figure uh, for three bucks, three dollars and fifty cents. So he's like, "Do you need it?" And when he asked, he said, "Do you want the twelve inch Bebop?" And I was like, "Yes, I need a twelve inch." I didn't realize he was talking about the movie one, but for three dollars and fifty cents, that's fine. I'm fine with it. Actually, I might end up custom painting this one, maybe, because they didn't put any paint on the back of this guy, and he really could use some detail. But I wouldn't mind to make him look more like the vintage figure. Because it's a good sculpt on him. I mean, it's a real good sculpt if you look at the head. I think it's a really good sculpt for the most part. So, yeah. We'll set that fat guy back there. And I don't have a ton more. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a ton more. Um... So this is a uh, harder to find Bumblebee figure from the movies, and this is the Battle Blades Bumblebee. So he's got, uh, I want to say, yeah, the axe comes out, and then he's got this thing transforms into a gun, and not much, no, no light piping at all, really. Um, but he's kind of a pricier, harder to find Bumblebee. Um, it was between this one and the um, Energon, where basically this half of Bumblebee is translucent. I might end up still getting him if they still have him, but I don't know. I think that's called the Scan Bumblebee, if I remember right. And the last Ninja Turtle related thing that I picked up was the collector case. Um, I just don't, I never really thought about getting one of these things, and then I realized. Man, I, don't, I need one. I had one of these when I was a kid and it carried all my Ninja Turtles around. So uh, it was finally time for me to get one. And this one still has the trays inside. It's in really good shape because um, a lot of these are pretty dang destroyed. So I am pretty glad that I have that one. So glad I got that. I wasn't going to at first, but you know, it was the right price. And the very last thing I got, something I've been wanting for a long time, he's been on my want list. And that is the Age of Apocalypse, Ap or, uh, oh, Onslaught Build-A-Figure. Um, I did not pay 60 bucks for him. I actually think I got him for 40. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to have this. I like him so much better than the uh, new Onslaught that had the Red Skull head sculpt on it like i just like this cockroach looking guy the only thing i wish i would have done was uh if you guys remember the toy biz uh onslaught build a figure it actually had i want to say it was professor xavier's head back here inside of a bubble and i always thought that was really cool but this is one of my uh wants uh there was only th a couple build a figures that i really wanted was this was one blob which i can't afford now and i should have bought it years ago and the apocalypse, the big tall apocalypse. So um, I hope to have that actually relatively soon because it's on my list. So we will see. But for now, that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be back with another one. Um, sorry, this one was a little bit, well, I guess it wasn't too short, it's almost 20 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, I sound like crap. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.